Hello everybody, today we're talking about power apps on this channel, and if that doesn't get you excited, I don't know what will. As you saw from the title of this video, we will be talking about two trade-offs that you have to make as you incorporate power app into your Power BI report. I'm working on a detailed video on how to incorporate power apps into Power BI, but for now, let's do a quick overview of two shortcomings that we have to work around. Let's take a look at the scenario number one. So let's set up the example here. So uh, we have a quick report with the Power App incorporated into this report. I'm trying to plan out my next three years of secondary sales. And um, uh, I have to select a product for which I'll be doing a forecast. So here I'm gonna pick a product 143. As you can see, sales are increasing right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and forecast uh, a decline in sales. So let's say we're gonna start at 300 million, go down to 290 million, and then really come down to 250 million. Now watch what's about to happen. I'm about to hit the save button, and as I save, the report will immediately refresh. So you could see that this uh, refresh just occurred and the values refreshed. And you could see that what we've done is we've applied the seasonality of the actuals into the year one, two, and three that we're trying to plan out and we are observing a downward trend. So you right away are seeing the benefit. The benefit is I'm able to hit the save button in my power app and immediately at that time the refresh occurs and everything gets recalculated, seasonality is applied and I can do my analysis. The shortcoming, uh, you could see that we have these scroll bars uh, implemented into the video, I mean into the uh, visual. Now we're looking at scenario number two. This is a different screen. You see the scroll bars are gone and I still have a power app and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, for the same product, uh, enter the increasing values for year one, two, and three, and then let's see what happens. Okay, you can see that I've uh, increased, so where the sales were going down before, now I made the sales to go up, and I'm gonna hit the save button. So watch closely what happens. I'm gonna hit save, and the refresh does not occur. So let's see how I can force the reset. I have two options. Option number one, I could go to the page setup, go to the page refresh and set up a refresh here. So right now you could see that I have the page refresh every 10 seconds. However, because I'm not using a premium capacity, um, you will see that uh, by default, it'll take 30 minutes for this refresh to occur. The other way for me to refresh is I can hit the refresh button here and that will refresh the page and you can see that, that um, increasing trend just has been applied. So here you go, now you're seeing your two trade-offs. Trade-off number one is uh, you have to pick what you want to do. Do you want to have a control over the look and feel of your app? So in other words, you don't want to see any of the any scroll bars or, or do you want to be able to have the instant refresh but have to deal with these scroll bars? So I will go into my next video, I will do a detailed analysis as to why this happens. But high level explanation for you right now is you have two options to wire a power app to your Power BI report. Option number one, you create the power app first. And when you do that, you're able to have fine grained control over the look and feel of your power app. So this is the app that I've created myself. Uh, from scratch and I was able to specify the screen size and embedding behavior and you could see that the look and feel of this is much better. There is no scroll bars and I can be very almost pixel perfect with respect to the look and feel of it. Uh, however, what, I, what I'm giving up is that ability to refresh the screen by hitting the save button. And then when you look into my uh, first app, uh, I do have that ability to hit save and refresh. And that is done is because I actually started the app right from this page, right? So you start the power app, you bring the fields in, and then when you have an, when you click, when you turn that visual into a power app visual, 
instead of saying connect existing, you say start new. And if you choose that option, then um, that Power App will have a ability to refresh the whole report when you hit save. However, when you create an app that way, you are losing the ability to have fine grain control over the look and feel. So you're gonna have to deal with the scroll bars if the app that you're trying to use is not does not occupy the entire Power App screen. So you have two options in Power App, using a tablet layout and a phone layout. So if you just wanna clip it and show it part of it, like what I do wanna do here, because I wanna save the real estate for my, by, for my uh, charts, then um, you're gonna have to deal with this um, scroll bars. And that's the big trade-off that you have to deal with. So to summarize, you have to choose between an ugly app that refreshes and uh, a beautiful app that does not automatically refresh. This is it for this video. I will have a more detailed video on how to incorporate a Power App into a Power BI report with all the steps and uh, best practices coming up uh, shortly. Hope you enjoyed the video and please come back again for the next one. Thanks, bye.